So many people are suffering the aftermath of wildfires in California. Others across the country are reaching out to help. Well, there are posts all over social media now telling you where to donate and how to donate. And one way you can help is by giving to the Red Cross organization. It's supposed to help families in crisis, but is the money really going somewhere else? That's the claim popping up on Facebook and Twitter and all your social media platforms. So our Verify team started digging. Yeah, it's become a pretty common claim and it's making it difficult to know where to send help. Here's one example from our own Facebook saying not to donate to the Red Cross. Too much money goes to administrative costs. It urges you to check out what the CEO makes. So we did. Our sources for this Verify, Charity Navigator, a nonprofit that rates charities, public records, and the Red Cross. First off, it's important to note that this claim has been going around for a while. We've done stories on it. It's often in this longer form, claiming the Red Cross CEO makes nearly a million a year. But here's the publicly filed records by the Red Cross. They show CEO Gail McGovern made about 600,000 last year, not a million. Now that seems like a lot, but Charity Navigator shows the Red Cross spends nearly 90% of their money on programs and services only 4.2% on admin expenses. And in disaster situations, the Red Cross claims they send almost all the donations directly to the victims. Here's Mario Bruno with the Red Cross just last year. We are very proud to say that about 90 cents on every dollar is, is, goes directly to that response. Their documents and research by Charity Navigator back that up, meaning these claims are false. But there are dozens of ways to donate. We're not telling you which to choose, just letting you know that the Red Cross isn't bad. Now, if you do want to see a list of verified donation groups, make sure you check our website or Charity Navigator. With your Verify, I'm Jason Puckett. Back to you.